Welcome back to Lesson 6, Adding in Members, Part 3 of the SDS2 Getting Started series. We will now continue with Adding in Members. I am now going to add in some beams to these members that are sloping between grid 2 and 3. Using section view, let's just go ahead and show you how these members are sloping from grid 2 down to grid 3 and 1. First off, I'm going to add in some construction lines. Using my base off a construction line here, I'm going to type in 7 foot 6. And I am now going to add in another construction line here at 6 feet. Of course, construction lines are required so that we have some points to select. The question is, if these beams are sloping, at what point in the z-direction is this member and intersection construction line located? Well, this brings up the intersection construction line and member point locator. Let's go ahead and add in some beams. Using my exact point, we're going to see that I cannot pick those construction lines. They snap to the ends of the members or center of holes. If I use intersection construction line, I can snap to the point, but as we look at the XYZ display, we can see that that is at 126.0, which is not correct. When I use the intersection construction line and member command, we can see that at this point, where the construction line and that member line intersect, it is 126, 6, and 15 sixteenths. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to locate my first point. Again, for my second point, I'm going to use the intersection construction line and member. Now I'm going to add in the section size, which is a W12 by 26. And we're going to move now down to what's called web rotation. Using my help, go into my member tab we're gonna see that there's these options for web rotation you can see that we have hip and valley web normal and web vertical web normal is going to put the web perpendicular to the supporting members flange so I'm gonna come in here for this member because these are attached to these sloping members I'm gonna select the web normal option now, at this point, again, it doesn't matter whether that web normal, that's not going to make a difference on each side here, but the elevation is going to make a difference. Um, the system will automatically determine that web rotation as per the supporting members. So I can repeat it here, but I cannot repeat it down here because this is at elevation 126, 4, and 13 sixteenths. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and add in that member and repeat it. Now let's add in some construction lines for some roof channels. I'm going to go ahead using my base off a of construction line command. I'm going to base off of this grid slash construction line. We're going to go ahead and add in 10 feet. Let's go ahead and add that in a positive direction. And another 5 foot. Add that in a positive direction. Now I'm going to add in some channels here. Using my beam add, I'm going to again use intersection construction line and member to locate that point. And once again for the top point. Let's go ahead and type in a C10 by 15.3. For my section size, again since this is going to be a vertical web, I can leave it at web normal or I can leave it at web vertical. In this case, I will leave it at web normal. And now we're going to come in here and deal with what's called the toe direction. Toe direction is going to be out, which is going to place it to the left based off the piece mark. Now I'm going to add in the other channel and set it to be toe in. Again, I cannot repeat up here, so I'm going to come in here, add in this channel here. Let's go ahead and delete this one. 
and add it back in. Time to move on to adding a brace. I'm going to open up my view. Let's go ahead and go down to our grid line 3. And I'm going to add in a brace. Well, first of all, I need, once again, some construction lines to create some points. So let's go down 9 inches here. And let's go ahead and create an X. So I'm going to use my intersection construction line because this is actually going to be a cross bracing. These are going to be double angle braces, so let's go in here and select vertical brace. And I'm going to come in here and add in the first portion of this particular brace. Place in an angle 6 by 4 by 3 8. Notice once I validate by tabbing out of this field, this long leg outstanding now becomes accessible. It's going to be a double angle, so it's double material on that member. I'm going to have the long leg to the gusset and I can come in here and I can use either a back-to-back -back or star configuration. I can also adjust whether I want to have it on the neutral axis. I can also adjust my stitch plates and how many stitch plates I want to have in this particular member. Okay, let's go ahead and OK for that window. Add in that next brace and add in that bottom brace. Let's go to our second floor. On the second floor, I'm going to add in right down here at the bottom a horizontal brace. We're currently at elevation 114.6. I am now going to use a tool called Relative Depth. The tool Relative Depth, what that does is it allows me to move into the screen or out of the screen by a set number. So for example, if I want to move down into the screen, I type in a negative as indicated on the screen, and I'm going to put a negative three, and let's go ahead and add in three and a half. Go ahead and hit OK. We can now see that the elevation is at 114, two and a half. Now comes time to add in that brace. I'm going to add in the horizontal brace, and I'm going to add in a angle. Notice the elevation is at 114, two and a half. I'm going to come in here and add in an angle six by four by, uh, let's go with a three eighths. Once again, it's going to be a double material. The side of gusset, I can place it far side or near side coming out towards me. I'm going to select the OK, and we have now just added in that double angle brace. Let's go ahead and clear off those construction lines. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my isometric view that I created earlier. And I'm going to turn on my depth check so that I can see everything that's in that particular view. So now we can see all these members that have been added in. They're currently in the stick form.